Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll see how to read or write a YAML file using Python. YAML also is a data serialization language like JSON. YAML stands for YAML Ain't Markup Language. First, it was called yet another markup language. Later, they repurposed to YAML Ain't Markup Language. It is often used for writing configuration files than document markup. So you'll be seeing this YAML files in multiple places or multiple applications like in Ansible for maintaining the configurations or playbooks we are using YAML files and you can see that even in Nornia framework Kubernetes or Docker. You can convert even the Python data types into YAML file. We'll see a small example. YAML also is having multiple data types like number, string, null values, boolean and timestamp sequences and all. So we'll see some data types here. So we'll try to create an equivalent YAML file of this dictionary. I can just create a new file here. I'll give the file name file one dot extension can be either YML or YAML. And so now this is a plain text file with extension as YAML. So here my IDE PyCharm is detecting this as a YAML file and we can start the document with three hyphens. This is optional and let me open this in write split so that we'll compare with this data and write the YAML file. So here first key is rtr1 to represent key value you can give the key here and a colon and here we have multiple elements so i can press enter here and then we can start adding each data so first data is ip address and its value is 10.1 so I need to give a colon here space and I don't have to explicitly give as a string so by default YAML will consider this as a string so once we convert this file back to Python we'll see how YAML is handling this so I'll give the IP here and same like this I can give username colon and this space is very important so this is separating the key and value I'll give admin password space admin and total interface I'll give file so by default this will consider as an integer type iOS and here we have a list to give the list either we can give the list directly or we can give it with hyphen I'll give neighbors enter and I need to put a hyphen and space I'll give the IP 10.10.10.1 and next is 11.1.1.1 so this particular yaml file is equivalent to this dictionary now if you want to read this particular yaml file we can import yaml then we'll use with open with open and file name is file one dot yaml yaml data and output equal to yaml dot need use safe load 
the load is deprecated so we need to use safe load you can go to the documentation and this will be safe for untrusted input so you need to use safe load for reading the content and inside safe load we need to give yaml data and here we'll try printing output let us try running this we can compare this particular dictionary with this both will be same let me import pprint and we'll do a pprint of this and if you compare these two dictionaries it will be same and now if you want to access any particular data we'll do print outputs rtr1 so here we'll be getting only the values of rtr1 and same like this if you want to access a specific key we can give ip underscore address so now we have created a yaml file and reading that using yaml dot safe load and now this has created a dictionary out of it and we are able to read the data now here instead of this particular list i'll remove this we can put the data in this format still it is same and even if i remove the string formatting of this still it will be same so yaml is having the intelligence to detect all these data types like this you can even add a dictionary also inside the yaml file and now we'll see how to convert some of these lab inventory elements and this configuration data if you see this particular data in the csv example we were converting the csv data into this format so i have added same content here as a conf data dictionary i'll try to import it here so here the file name is conf data so from conf data import conf dictionary and we will try to create a yaml file out of this particular dictionary so let me comment this so with open and conf data dot yaml and i'll write the content as yaml data and then yaml data dot we need to use the normal write method and yaml dot dump and here we need to put this particular dictionary i'll put the conf dictionary here and let me run it so here now we have a conf dictionary yaml and this particular conf data so yaml 
module has converted it into yaml file so now instead of this particular dictionary you can even use a yaml file as the input for configuring the device so here you can even put additional commands so now this is very easy you don't need to bother about the json file syntax you can put additional commands and all here so now we have seen even how to read a yaml file and create a dictionary out of it and now we'll see some more examples from lab inventory file so we'll try to create the yaml files out of all this data so here i'll open the file with okay i'll take a copy of this and here i'll import from lab inventory import all and i will call this inventory underscore list and here i will call inventory list so let me try running this now here we should be able to see another yaml file and if you compare this with this data you can see so i have a list of dictionaries and all these key value pairs it is separating with a colon and space and here so license is showing us null and net conf is true and in case of python it was capital t and here it is small t and like this if you want inventory dictionary you can give inventory dictionary and so here we are getting the key value pairs so this is going to be the key if you see here here we have key and like this list of dictionaries and here also i can select that and if i run that so here we are getting list of dictionaries and for each list element we are adding a hyphen and then we have another key the device ip under that we have the device details so in this way we can read and write a yaml file